Today, we we'll talk about the gigapress economics, the cost related to the machine and also the costed parts. First, let's talk about the price tag of gigapress. LK Group and IDRA are the manufacturers of gigapress. There is a video in my channel talking about their relationship. You can take a look. According to the LK management, the standalone gigapress machine costs uh, 6 million euro or 7.1 million USD. Adding supporting equipment that come up to 8 million euro or 9.5 million USD. According, according to Elon in his uh, interview with uh, Sandy Monroe, um, Gigapred replaced 300 robots in the body shops. If you want to know more about the supporting equipment, and this, here's the picture. This is the layout for DCC 3000. This is roughly half of the Gigapress. So there are a few important uh, equipment here. One is a spray, spray machine. It's a robot arm to spray oil onto the mold. So the part is easy to separate from the mold in the next circle. And this is extraction uh, solutions, which is a, a robot arm to get parts out of the machine. And this is one, the little box is the temperature stabilizer. So if you look close enough, you will see one, two, three. They have three robots here. And these three robots betrayed their own kind and served a gigantic evil lord, Gigapress and eliminated 300 jobs of their own kind. That's a sad story. This is the layout of DCC 6000 or Gigapress. So it's much better looking to me. And there are some details. Uh, it got two operators here and uh, many little boxes here, which are the temperature uh, stabilizers from the previous slide, we know that. For the cost of the robots, according to this website here, um, a new industrial robot costs 50 to $80,000. If you add on everything together, it the cost could, could go up to $100,000 to $150,000. This is the uh, Model Y body shop published by Tesla. So 300 robots on this production line was removed due to the application of Gigapress. Using Freeman Gigafactory as one example, so a single Gigapress costs $9.5 million. There are two Gigapress there. So the total cost is about $19 million. For the KUKA robots, each one costs $100 to $150,000. So there were 300 of them got replaced. So the total cost is roughly $30 million to $45 million. So you can see that the Gigapress actually saved a lot of the CapEx for Tesla. So we'll talk about the price tag or the cost of the machine. Let's go one more, one level deeper to see the economics of the die-casted parts. There is a footage named Freeman Flyover Gigapress. It was published on YouTube. I provide the link here. I will summarize all the links referred in this uh, presentation into the video description section so you can have an easy, to, easy click through. According to that video, the cycle of the Gigapress at that time was 190 seconds. So that turned out to be 445 units per machine per day. But we know that there will be a downtime, assume 20% downtime, and 90% of a yield rate. Not all you know, castings are success. So that's down to uh, 330 units per machine per day. According to the Wikipedia, the Gigapress ideal uh, cycle time actually is about much less, 80 to 90 seconds. That is uh, 740 units machine per machine per day with the same assumption. 
wiki set is a, a thousand unit without considering the downtime and yield rate. So we can say this is roughly the range. So 330 to 740 per machine per day. And uh, change to a year, that would be 120,000 to 270,000 per machine per year. That is the run rate of the giga price. How long the giga price can last? So this picture on the right is some highlights from IDRA's website. They said in is 75 years because their their company since 1946. So in the last 75 years, they built 15,560 uh, machines. So you can say roughly 200 machines per year. So 9,200 machines roughly still in operation. That's a 60% of the last 75 years uh, machine built are still alive. So if you use uh, 9,200 divided by 200 per year, you get roughly 46 years. Those machines are most likely still working. So conservatively, let's assume that only 20 years, less than half of that uh, 46 years. 20 years life for giga press, and we know the daily production. So we know that roughly we can produce 2.4 to 5.4 million parts in the lifespan of giga price, single one. So with 9.5 million dollars price tag, we divided by 2.4 to 5.4 million. So the depreciation for on the machine side is two to four dollars per part. Another big item of the depreciation is on modes. We got no data for giga price, but we know typical cost of large mode could go up to $50,000. Given the actual large size of gigaprice mode, let's assume four times, roughly say $200,000. A good mode could last about 100,000 to 120,000 times. So uh, simple math, the depreciation is about $2 per part. Actually, the, uh, some parts of the mode, for example, the frame could be reused. So the actual cost should be lower than this estimation. But let's assume it's two dollars per part. Maintaining the cost again, we don't have very good data on this side. But according to the website, same website, uh, robots.com, maintaining cost for the robots is ten thousand dollars per year for one robot. So if you compare two jobs, one is maintaining one big machine, giga press with a few moving parts and most of which are very heavy and sturdy. Although locally, they are high temperature, high, high pressure. On the other side, maintaining 300 robust arms with six degrees of freedom. So which one is easier? I think I will choose uh, the Giga Press. Let's assume the Giga Press maintaining cost is uh, half of the 300 robots, say uh, 1.5 million yearly for three of them. So the, then the, this cost go down to divide by the yearly, the yearly production of parts. So that cost is about two to four dollars. Giga press is run by electricity. So given such a humongous size, will the machine cost a lot of energy to run? So the electricity bill is very big or not? So we have no data about the giga press but I do found the DCC 1600 energy consumption, again, on uh, LK Group's uh, website. Per this table, one cycle of this DCC 1600, which is a, a quarter of the of gigapress capacity. The consumption is about uh, 0.354 uh, kilowatts hour. So it's one part, 0.354 kilowatts hour. Given that the US industrial electricity price is about seven cents per kilowatt hour. So which means the energy cost per cycle is 2.5 cents. Well, giga price is much larger, four times larger. It could be 10 cents or even you want more than 20 cents, eight times. So overall, this electricity cost to run DCC uh, giga price is trivial.
But this one doesn't include the energy cost to melting the aluminum. Is that big? And then we have to do some theories, uh, science study. So the metal heat capacity of, of aluminum is 880 joules uh, per kg per Celsius degree. The melting point is 660.4 Celsius degree. Well, room temperature assume 20.4 Celsius degree. So you need to heat up 640 degrees. So the energy needed to melt 80 kilo. The 80 kilo come from the gator press. That's assumed to be the weight of the rear, rear antibody, the caustic part. So 880, 640, and 80 kilo. And the result is 45 million joules. And that's a very big number. But actually, we convert that one to kilowatts hours. That's 12.5. Again, the cost is about uh, 87 cents, less than a dollar. We all know that the heating efficiency is not 100%. It could be 60 or 80%. It should be within a couple of dollars. So this is quite amazing. Okay, back to the business. The which cost of operating GigaPress? We see that only two operators needed to run the machine itself. But I assume there are a lot of supporting staff, inspection, exam, transport, etc. Let's assume 80 staff for three shifts taking care of three machines in Shanghai. Assume $25,000 annual salaries package for each employee. So that's about $2 million cost for three gigamachines machines with uh, 360,000 to 81,000 parts in a year. That's down to 2.5 to 5.5 dollars per part. On Freeman's side, maybe higher. We can say three times higher. That's about right. So that is the which cost. It belongs to OPEX. The last item is the material cost. In the last five years, aluminum price ranged from $1,500 to $2,500 per ton. This is the plus. It has a very clear trend like other commodity. And uh, we got this picture from this website. So for again, for 80 kilo, kilograms, that's about $120 to $200. And we know that Elon said there are some secret ingredients in Tesla's hot aluminum soup. So let's add 20% cost on that one for the secret ingredients. So the material cost per part is roughly $145 to $240. So let's summarize all the costs in a table. And bear in mind, this is a pretty rough estimation, but just try to give you a sense about the overall the breakdown of the cost. You can see that the total cost, adding everything together, is roughly $167 to $273. Most of the variance are coming from the materials. So material cost itself, also the majority cost of the total cost, roughly 87%. This is the summary of the presentation. The key factor of the cost are volume, volume, volume. We know that machine can be very expensive, the, the mode can be very expensive, but once they divide by a huge denominator, which is volume, then the cost comes down to very little number. The capex depreciation actually are very tiny compared to the total cost. OPEX are not tiny, but still relatively small. Material cost is dominating. We said it's roughly 87%. From a cost viewpoint, GigaPrice is a great solution for, uh, for Tesla because Tesla only has a few models uh, with huge volumes. On the other side, the robot solution is much more painful. To get that the 70 parts together, it takes a lot of efforts. And here's a, a video, the Elon interview with uh, Sandy Monroe. I highly recommend this one. I prefer you read from the original link. The link is here. I will put this one into the video subscription, video description section. So you can you can click through. Thank you for watching and welcome to subscribe.